Hello there! You're watching VLL Miniatures, and in this episode I will be making a basing tutorial. However, I am not at home right now, so this video will be a little bit different as I don't have access to my usual basing texture. Instead, I will be trying to find some materials uh, to use instead, something that we maybe have lying around in the house or something from outside. So, to start, uh, let's go out and see if we can find something useful in nature. For a moment there, I forgot that it's the end of February, so it's not that easy to find any basic material in nature at the moment. However, I did find something I can use, uh, maybe I can be using some of this. In this video, I will also be using some other uh, texture that I will be uh, getting from uh, things you might have lying around in the house. For example, some tea, some uh, coffee, different types of uh, coffee. Here I have uh, these Nespresso capsules, one that is unused and one that I just, uh, just had. I will also be using some uh, matches. To attach the texture to the base, I will be using some wood glue or PVA glue and some super glue, as I usually do. To start, let's make uh, a few simple bases with uh, whatever you can probably find in your house, starting with uh, this tea bag. Uh, I just put a little bit of PVA glue on the side here. So what I like to do is just to make a little bit of a texture paste. Uh, directly onto the base. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, then grab some texture and mix it onto the base. So let's leave this one to the side for now and let it dry. So here, here I have one uh, new and one used Nespresso capsule. Let's open them both and see, see how they look. Okay, that is very, very fine grained, as you would expect. So this might be very nice to combine with the others. It's super dark, so it's difficult to see on the camera. When I spread it out a little bit, it might be easier to see. Uh, yeah, easier to see, but let's open the used one first and then compare. Okay, so as I said, uh, this one is used, which means that it's still still moist. You can see that it uh, clumps very heavily because uh, because it's it's moist, while this one is completely dry, so it's much more powdery. So this is a little bit funny because the um, the coffee kind of colors uh, colors the glue, so it looks a bit. Bit weird, a bit muddy. So yeah, let's leave this one aside as well, and then do a similar one with the dry, uh, the dry coffee. So a little bit of glue and this dry coffee. So this doesn't mix uh, as easily as the other one because it's it's dry, so it kind of. Um, covers the glue instead of mixing with it, so you kind of, yeah, need to work it in a little bit more. So let's leave that one to the side and then maybe try to make a bigger base with a combination of what we have so far, so the tea, coffee uh, and these Nespresso capsules. Pretty good texture, I think. Okay, let's move on to the materials that we found outside and add that to some larger bases to make something a little bit more interesting. Uh, so to begin with, I just want to yeah cut out a section of this uh, of this tree. I really like this middle section with all the, the gnarly texture and all of these small. Uh, Small lumps, they're quite nice. So the best thing to do would of course be to use a saw, I don't have that, so hopefully this one is soft enough to use a knife. Yes, that worked pretty 
pretty well. All right, I cleaned it up a little bit, but there we have it. I think that's quite interesting. So let's uh, get it in place with some uh, super glue. Nice. So I want to make this little piece of, uh, of a platform to be on my base somewhere and add some texture under it and maybe some support uh, support beams. And for that I'm going to use some uh, matchsticks. Okay, so now I'll just quickly make this uh, platform by adding these uh, different uh, yeah, floorboards together from the from the matchstick. This is going to be a very rough, uh, very rough construction. So, not going to, yeah, spend too much time doing it or making it all straight. Okay, something, something like this. Then I'm just going to secure it. I mean, you could of course use uh, use the matchsticks on the underside as well to make it look nice, look nicer. But uh, yeah, this is going to be. On the base, so on the underside doesn't matter. It's just to hold it, hold it together. Okay, let's uh, texture this base uh, just using whatever we have on the plate. That is uh, coffee and tea. So I think I just want to make a little bit of this mud. It's quite nice using the moist Nespresso capsule just adding it down here. Okay, with the added texture, this one is starting to look pretty cool. I'm looking forward to putting a miniature on here. I think that's going to be very nice. Uh, let's see if these parts can be interesting, especially like this, uh, this tree beard thing. I mean, for something similar, if you don't have this growing on the trees, near you. I'm sure you can use some wool, just some wool instead. Maybe just tear up some yarn. So yeah, I think I'm just going to add these, uh, this one, uh, just a little bit around the, the tree, cover it a little bit as some kind of climbing vines or something. Add some details with this one as well, uh, the pine cone. Let's just break it. This one is still wet. I I got these ones from outside in the snow just uh, just an hour ago. Yeah, it's really dirty. Uh, what one of these looks like? This top is this top is pretty nice. Just fell off. Let's just put it on here with a little bit of yeah glue and texture. Just stick it on somewhere. All right, uh, let's try to seal some of these pieces in place using some watered down PVA glue. Uh, so when this fully dries, I want everything to be perfectly sealed. Okay, now that I have generously covered uh, all the yeah, natural parts in uh, PVA glue, I think this one needs to be set aside to dry. Uh, I also covered uh, the tooth or the matchsticks. I don't know if that was totally necessary, but it's always nice to cover organic things or wood with, uh, with a little bit of glue. Uh, I think it helps with the painting process a little bit. Okay, so it's the second day of working on these and I left them overnight to fully dry. Okay, uh, I gave these a quick coat of uh, Chaos Black Spray. Uh, I didn't have any blue tack, so instead I just used some, used some uh, painter's tape to secure these in place. Yeah, so as you can see at this point I'm just slapping on some, some of the paint that I brought. Some different colors. Green, brown, and gray. And then we'll add some dry brushing and washes later. So you can see that right now I'm not even cleaning my brush uh, because I kind of want this to be an all over very muddy color. 
Dry brushing is definitely the best way to do bases when you have a lot of texture like this. Okay, let's hit the others with the dry brush as well. Just this, uh, I'm just going to use this same light, it's actually a light flesh color, uh, flayed one's flesh, but you could use like white or bone or whatever. Just something that's lighter than what you have underneath. And now I'm going to apply some washes to uh, yeah, to tie them together and then go over in the end with a little bit of uh, dry brush and highlights again. So now I will be using uh, sepia and black shades, uh, which I really like for basing. The green one here, we could just use a bit of the sepia we already have on the brush. I really like green with this sepia color on top, it makes it a bit more brownish but it still doesn't lose the vibrancy of the color as you would with the uh, Agrax Earthshade which I think turned things a little bit too uh, too dull actually. Like that and lastly uh, I think I want it to be darker down here so I'm just going to bring up some some black on this lower area because this would be in shadow and maybe some of the sepia over these. Okay, so the washes haven't completely dried yet, but I'm a bit impatient, so I'm just going to do the final layer of dry brushing now. I don't know if it's needed on all of them. For example, this one looks pretty cool, but I guess I can just bring it up even more. With very okay, now that the bases are, well, more or less dry, uh, they are finished. So let's have a look at the final result. Starting with these two bases that we made using um, uh, coffee or the Nespresso capsules. That is a very fine grain coffee uh, for espresso. I think this, uh, yeah, so one of them, this one is made with a dry kind and this one uh, after I had made myself a coffee. So you can see the texture is pretty similar. Again, these extra textures in this one, the hole is actually because I touched it while it was wet and yeah, it left some, uh, it left a little hole. Uh, other than that, the textures are very sim similar, which means that you can definitely use uh, yeah, coffee that you are going to drink uh, as texture. So that's quite nice. Then you don't waste any of it and also get this nice can get this nice muddy texture on your miniatures. Cool. And then we have uh, the one that is from T. This one I just painted the uh, gray, dry brushed it with the light bone color and uh, washed it with the black wash. And you can see that it's a very nice kind of urban looking base. So again, this is just the T. Uh, it has some different grain sizes in it, uh, the T, and also, yeah, also I varied how thick, thickly I applied it. So this one turned out pretty good, I think. And then we have the one that is a mix between tea and uh, the coffee. So that's a mix of what we have here. So if you run out of basing material or if you are on holiday or somewhere where you didn't bring any of your sand or earth or grass, you can just grab something you have in, uh, yeah, something you have in the kitchen. So yeah, uh, coffee and tea, definitely a success. Let's have a look at the bases from uh, what I found outside, starting with uh, this one. So this one is the pine cone and some of the tree beard stuff. It looks like some dead vines or some dead kind of vegetation that has kind of grown all around this large egg or dragon scale or I don't know scaly slug maybe. It's hard to but at least it doesn't look that much like a pine cone anymore so this is definitely something that can be used in basing and terrain. Yeah, and lastly we have uh, 
we have this one, the one that turned out a little bit more to be a diorama base. So yeah, what's good to think about, uh, or what the point of this video is, I guess, is that you can find uh, basing material everywhere. It doesn't have to be like specially bought super grain sand or anything like that. You can basically just find something and put it on your base as long as it dries properly, that is. So these pieces that I found outside, I didn't dry them beforehand, I just glued them straight onto the base and added texture and glue and just let them dry overnight. So we have reached the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this uh, interesting and that you will try to use some unexpected materials the next time you base. If you do, uh, let me know in the comments or tag me in Instagram or on Facebook so that I can have a look. Uh, yeah, other than that, please like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.